Welcome to the Majestic Princess balcony room. Baja B117. This is not an obstructed view. This is not a deluxe. This is the balcony room. Nice storage. Lots of hangers. We have hangers hanging. We have so many hangers. We had to move them because they shake and hit the wall, which woke us up last night. More hangers. Lots of good storage. Probably the biggest, uh, biggest standard balcony we've ever had. This is our fifth cruise. Probably the newest ship as well. No couch, which I like because I feel like the couch has turned into a storage for luggage. A desk, another uh, side table. This is day two. We're headed north from uh, Vancouver. This is our day at sea, our first day at sea. It's starting to rain a little bit. That's why you really can't see anything, even with the, the bad lighting. Um, so, I'm pretty sure I saw the Dorca earlier. Uh, with the dorsal fin looked like a really big dolphin, jet black. Um, I would say, what's the, we're doing the temperatures right now? 53. Yeah, watch this 54. That seems pretty accurate, but it is breezy. I feel like um, you kind of need to have a beanie, your ears, ears get cold. But other than that, I think the temperature is perfect as far as uh, being outside with a, uh, a light jacket or a flannel. What does the bathroom look like on the balcony room? Well, it's not bad, honestly. Um, it is small, but that's the way cruise ship bathrooms are. I have a super view uh, lens on to give you a little better idea, kind of see everything. We have three tiers of uh, storage for toiletries. Um, it's pretty basic. The shower is uh, it's small, but it works. Um, water pressure is pretty decent. Water's warm. No complaints. If you don't like people bumping into you or being around thousands of people in an indoor closed area while you gather your food and eat, my advice would be to come in through the rear of the Lido deck. So all the way at the very back, come up through that stairway, pop in, grab your food at the buffet, and then head back outside because it's cold enough that very few people are out there. You have fresh air, you got a good view, that's the way to do it. On a cruise, I think it's important to avoid the heavy traffic bottleneck areas of the, of the ship, but then two, to identify places where there's not a lot of people, which is why this was my favorite indoor space. There was a wall of TVs playing sports. There was comfortable chairs and couches. It was centrally located right off the main atrium, but most importantly, it was never crowded.
What is that decorative pole? Come up and form a uh, commune on there. They're worried about the squatters on there. <laughs> 